Hey, this is Brian Deese, proud Gallatin resident and mural artist, and you're here at my studio. So Brian Deese, I've heard about you. Is this where the magic happens? This is where it all goes down. It's my studio in Gallatin, Tennessee. So tell us about what exactly you do here. I've seen your work outside. Um, what do you do in the studio, and then how does it get from your brain in here to the walls around town? Right, so I am a, you know, a muralist, street artist, graffiti artist. Inside here, some of what's behind us is more my studio-based work, but also here is where I do all my preparation work for my murals. Uh, so I do a lot of large portrait-based work, and I use all the tricks, and one of those tricks are giant stencils. So a lot of times when I'm in here, I'm cutting 10-foot tall stencils of someone's face. Wow. So these, you said, are some of your studio work. So are these, do you sell your art? I do. Most of my work comes from a commission, you know, comes from commission and mostly murals. Yeah. Um, this, I was preparing for a big show last year, but 2020 happened. So this was kind of a show on pause, okay. um, but I will fill it out. And this is an extenuation of ideas and processes I developed painting on the streets and in murals, but to take it in a different direction that I think makes more sense in someone's home. All right, so this is quite the collection. Looks a little different than my garage. What is all this stuff? So this is the paints that I use, and it's a combination of spray paints and uh, latex paints, ac acrylics. Um, these would be products you would buy at a Sherwin-Williams or a Lowe's, a hardware store type of product. Um, and that's usually like the base coat or areas that I need to cover in one large area of one solid color. I'll use those types of paints. But generally, I'm using a specialty type of spray paint. Um, and there's a few different brands, but they started sometime in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, European companies making specialty spray paints with the graffiti street artist muralist in mind. So if anybody around town is wanting to put a mural up, they shouldn't just run to the local hardware store, they should probably contact a professional. <laughs> well, ideally, ideal, I, mean, I mean, if you're wanting to use the best materials, then okay. you're going to want to. And if you want you know, it to stay, I know I've seen some murals in our town and in others mm -hmm. that have kind of, I think they've been around a while. Is that, are we seeing, is that because they're kind of chipping and stuff? Is that because there's different materials or are there better materials now than there were maybe like a decade ago? Well, this paint, like I said, is relatively new to the market. Um, and so it's got much more color pigment in there, so the fading is gonna be slower. Unfortunately, when you're talking murals, the sun and precipitation is gonna take its toll over the years. That's just the nature of it. You can coat it with a clear coat. You can use the best materials, but the sun's still gonna come in, bleach out your yellows first, then your pinks and reds, and your blues, and then your blacks finally last. Um, what I try and do is use such high quality materials that when they fade, it's like a beautiful fade. I say it like all together. Right. My work being murals, it's very tempor uh, temporary in nature. Um, so my preparation work, the stencils that I put so many hours in, I save those and that kind of becomes a permanent record of my work that I have a little more control over. So that's where I store them in kind of cardboard folders. Here's one that I'd, I'd love to show you kind of how, what that looks like. So do you, do you draw this and then you like take an exacto and cut it all Initially, out? Initially, it, it's a big printout and then I'm just drawing, I'm showing you the back because it, it's easier to kind of see what's going on. Um, when I've got the printout, I draw with an exacto knife the hardest shadows that I see, so the blackest areas of the face. And then I come back with um, spray paint, like a lighter gray, a transparent black, and I, uh, shade it in and make it more soft and realistic. Well, Brian, this is really impressive to take an inside look at what goes on here in the studio. Um, I really appreciate yeah. you letting us come out today. Definitely. And we're really thankful for you and what you do to drive community right here in Gallatin through art. So thank you. Thank you. I love Gallatin. <laughs>